All right, folks, so uh, someone just made me aware of something that's very important I want to make mention of. Uh, a guy named Brian Smith on Facebook um, had brought something to my attention, which is very important. And uh, I guess this is what happens when it takes a while to be able to put, put a transmission back together, this, and it's the first time I've ever done it. So uh, luckily, I made some videos to back myself up, but I missed this one little piece because I didn't take this piece apart. Um, this piece right here, and of course the shaft, that goes towards the bell housing. This goes towards the rear of the uh, transmission. And I have this little bearing right here in my part two video of the assembly. And you can see where I was putting this bearing on right here, like so, with the splines facing towards the outside. Apparently from what he was telling me, the machine part right here where it's nice and shiny, that's where the splines of this bearing goes. So apparently I've got it backwards. So it needs to go like so, okay? like that okay now one other very important thing about this which i didn't realize either apparently it's not indexed there's not a master spline or anything like that on the shaft which probably would have been smart to do if i was an engineer doing this but i'm not an engineer i just go by common sense but anyway uh this wasn't anything that was really obvious to me there's three oil holes in here if you can see it one two and three okay they've got the little grooves which would almost like a master spline but not quite but anyway those three oil holes there need to be lined up with the grooves here you'll see there's one two and then the third one right here they need to be uh, lined up with that otherwise from what i'm being told the oil will never reach up here to the front clutch disc and then what happens is you'll end up burning it up because it can't get to the oil can't get up in this area where it needs to go to lubricate here so very important thing um uh, apologize for the mistake there uh one additional note there i'm pretty uh mechanically inclined or at least i like to think so i'm not an idiot but um <clears throat> if you're doing this type of work um the only thing i'll say is Double check your work when you're taking it apart. When I take things apart, I like to put them in a line. Generally speaking, the only reason why I had it in a big pile out there, I was having to move some stuff around because I had carpet, my house had destruction from the hurricane. It's another reason why my garage looks like a mess. It's been a total pain in the rear. But usually when I take things apart, let's say if this was on here and I take it off, I may have it in a line. I'll put, I'll put the shaft like so. That piece right there, I'll have the bearing like so. I'll put them in a line verify how you have everything it's good to take pictures take videos things that you can refer back to especially if it's something you're not familiar with and once you start doing it over and over it helps uh, to be able to know how to do it uh, you may not need the videos but if it's the first time around take pictures take videos whatever i'm not responsible for your stupidity if you screw up <clears throat> and uh, you're not checking yourself so uh, that's on you but anyway I wanted to make sure I had this video out there because I want to protect you guys. I didn't want somebody looking at my video. I didn't cover this part and then somebody destroys it uh, or ruins their transmission. And that would be my fault because, you know, you're following my lead uh, as far as that's concerned. So uh, just looking out for you guys. Uh, I'm always trying to help. If you got questions, feel free to holler at me. That's what I'm here for. I love helping you guys out. I want to see the community grow and, and uh, do good things. So anyway, that's it. Y'all have a good one.